Hey, Bender. You think he's Blender? <laughs> oh, man, this be Blender. <laughs> hey, Blender. Hey, Bender. Want to try the chicken tenders? I, I like chicken tenders. tenders. Hey, okay, anyways. Um, where we left off yet last time, we sort of wrapped up in the um, blacksmith. I spoke to uh, Christian uh, afterwards. By the way, Christian, I sent you a DM about something. I just want your yeah. feedback on it when you get a chance. Uh, uh, Christian, or I should say Leopold, left the blacksmith to go uh, go back to the crack in the tower. Uh, do the rest of you just stay in the blacksmith, or do you guys do anything else? Well, I don't have a choice because I'm building my rifle. You're stuck there, yes. You're stuck there getting a god fucking rifle that's equivalent to a fucking fifth level spell slot at level fucking three. Yay. Fucking pro gamer me. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm fucking excited that you're programming me. This is gonna be very interesting. I mean we we've talked about how you know to make it you know balanced. <laughs> <laughs> well again, yeah, just No, uh, apparently if I want more shots I have to upgrade it more. Uh you can't uh at the moment it you can only load one round. But you can ha- and you can hold up to ten rounds at once. So you could load it. You, I assume you it's always loaded. You can fire it, and as a bonus action, you can load it. Uh, you can upgrade it well, to it. My skill avoids me of loading. I, I, Not I, in this case. Oh, so, okay. So you you're you're making it mandatory for this one. <laughs> for this one. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> A, but if you upgrade to like a plus one anti-material, you, you'll have two shots, plus two, three, plus, plus two, three, and the plus three, four, plus four, five, plus five, six. Okay, I see where you're going with it. Yeah. Um, and you could have ten rounds in reserve. So you, so you can have one in the chamber and ten rounds to, to reload. Okay? Okay. Because, again, this is essentially a fifth, fifth or sixth level spell slot, depending on how you lose, use it. Anyways, uh, you're stuck at the blacksmith. You're working. Uh, you're getting a fucking badass weapon, and again, I'm kind of upset, but at the same time, I'm really not because this is going to be fun. Uh, so Zest and Fyodor, are you guys staying at the blacksmith for the rest of the day? No, I would go back to the cracks. Okay, what would you like to do? I assume we're just gonna hang out until uh, Charles comes to get us. I will say Charles has already met up with you guys, and he's he wants everyone prepared for tomorrow morning. Oh, then yeah, so I'll wait for him to just, finish his crafting in the smithy. Then we just do what we do tomorrow. But nobody else got anything else. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Fyodor. Um. Already have the the mimic swords, right? You already have the what? The mimic sword, yeah. yeah. You, that's you have that. It's 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 attached to your back. Uh, it's strangely yeah. warm. I think I'll I'll go to <laughs> to crack this myself. Okay. So you guys are just gonna relax, take the day off after I think, exploding yeah. people's brains. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Actually, um, oh, oh. Never mind. Uh, no. Cyrus, if you haven't already, add a anti-material rifle to your inventory and write down uh, ten, uh, 10 bullets. Nice. Legal. Uh, weapon. Oh, wait. Did I put actions? Ah, oh, fuck.
Do I put it under action or custom action? No, no. You there's an item called anti-material. There's an anti-material rifle in the game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was something you just made up. No, no. There's an anti-material rifle in the game. There you go. Yeah, I'll, here I'll add it to your inventory real quick. Just oh, I got that. I, no, I thought it was just something I actually had to type in. Oh no, no, no. Uh, if it was, if even if it was a custom item, I would have created it for you. Staff one. Weapon. Also, add a laser sight to uh, your inventory. So what do what do the sights actually do for me? Okay, the um, I'm just gonna pull up. Uh, I'm just gonna pull that up real quick. Just give me a second, I'll, and I'll, I'll read them off. Because they each do something a little bit different. Uh, okay, let's start with uh, let's start with the forex scope because that's the first one that's up here. You can quote unquote equip this to a pistol or a rifle. Ignore disadvantage for a max distance attacks, which I think you may already have a uh, sharpshooter, which ignores it anyways. But during a surprise round, or if you use a bonus action, you can aim through the scope and give your next attack advantage and can crit on an 18, 19, or 20. Ooh. The 12x scope is very similar, pretty much does the same thing, except it crits from a 17 to a 20. Okay. And you can only use this crit once per round. Okay. A uh, The laser sight, let me go down to the laser sight. There's also iron sights, which I don't know if you saw. I mean, I would assume like they would come standard. That's usually how guns work. Yeah. Uh... No. <laughs> uh, essentially, wait, essentially, the iron sight you can equip to any ranged weapon. And the first attack of the round against an enemy at, at least 20 feet away is at advantage. That's all. Which okay. isn't bad. Pretty good. But the laser sight is, while in dim light or darkness, your attacks are at advantage. Or if you don't have dark vision, it's just a straight, it, it, it ignores the disadvantage. Oh, okay. And then I just, I just put a the same thing. Just add a equipment. Uh, it's uh actually they, these are actually items. So you just go oh, and uh, add okay. add the uh, laser sight to your inventory. And just tell me which item you equip it to. But yeah, those are what the sites do. Okay. So well, I'm ready. But, all right, so everyone is good for that day. We're good to move on to the next day then. Yep. yep. Okay. Wait, everyone, wait. do a long rest just in case. Make sure you get back any spell slots you might have spent or anything like that. Pray over my. I'm lay down with five boats. First, get my morning prayer in. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, divine and merciful Bahamut, I beseech you to watch over those who follow you and those who don't. And bestow thy humble vessel with thy divine power. Now, pray over my my, my arrows. Dear lizard Jesus, please mm -hmm. protect us. Hey. Amen. Uh, Shut up. Lesser Jesus, <laughs> help us in this trying time when we have no flies or no grubs. Thank you, Lesser Jesus. And NASCAR. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> also, Fyodor, Leopold, and, uh, and Cyrus, please roll me wisdom saving throws. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't forget to see. Don't forget your bad rolls out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, let me do that real quick. <laughs> yeah, everyone can get the bad the bad rolls out first. Hey, how are you guys doing here? Is the custom dice? Yeah, uh, I do. I do a custom, and then I roll to myself. So, I'm like, well, I mean, the first one. We'll see. Yeah, I just roll d twenty, and then how it says to every. Oops, shit, wrong one. Fucking a. I meant to click the arrow. I just rolled the good ones out. I'm just gonna oh, go. Yeah, and I'm, just I'm, roll, I'm rolling bad ones out. 
let's roll like a three, a four. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do mine. I don't care. Alright, was the save. Go. Okay. I mean, I accidentally already threw mine, so I rolled a 13. Oh, that was a critical fail. <laughs> Good thing you threw that one out. Uh, right. Fyodor, uh, your wisdom saving throw as soon as you're ready, and Cyrus, I think you're still throwing out the bad ones. Yeah, I threw bad ones, but I accidentally threw one, so I, All right, I, have, a I have a 13. Come on. Come on. Well, I, 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 it's, yeah. it's, it's not in the, uh, in the pool. Really? Oh, wait, yes, it is. I'm blind. Oh, okay. I was, oh, like, okay. It was right under uh, Fyodor. Yeah, Fyodor yeah, also rolled, rolled it. I didn't see it, so... But, either way. Okay, um... I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with Leopold since Leopold, are you ready? As ready as Lizard Jesus is ever gonna be. So not ready at all. What? Come on, man! Don't, don't just be denying <laughs> Zess's faith like that. That's messed up. It's okay, he's uh, a dungeon master. I can't say anything about it. <laughs> and um, your dream from previous continues. As darkness rushes around you, laughter and screams before an audible crack sounds out. There you see a crack in the darkness. The ever-hungry, ever-consuming darkness. Light shines through and you hear singing again with another crack. The light widens and splinters all about around the darkness, illuminating you, pulling you out of the darkness. You become surrounded by figures of light, crystalline, almost as... The singing swells and welcomes you. You look and see the tall, withered figure, illuminated more now in wizard robes. But its body is still black as the darkness, with light shining out from it. It seems to be fighting against the swelling darkness and striking back against it. Then there are numerous voices calling out. Congratulations and praise. Though how you know this, you do not know, as the language is foreign to you. However, you know that somehow, some way, you've hurt this darkness and its machinations. And I am going to send that to you in a DM. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to speak with you again. <laughs> Uh, Fyodor. And Doctor says, "Call back later. I'm in the meeting." Yeah. You stand upon a field of battle. You slowly pan your gaze around and side to side, seeing the aftermath of said battle, knowing you were victorious. A voice behind you, a clicking, snapping voice. You turn and see the same strange alien figure standing before you, its wow. arms crossed as it stares at you through its strange and unnerving helmet. It nods to you, a silent wow. congratulations. That strange clicking voice echoes from the helmet, and while you know you do not speak or even truly understand it, you feel the meaning down to your bones, a hunter acknowledging another hunter, one deserving of respect. As if an elder was congratulating a child on their first step. You grip your battle axe in hand and feel pride. For the creature turns and points to the horizon. Uh, yeah. You turn and see a <laughs> mass of shadow writhing in the distance. You realize that you struck a blow, but not, have not claimed your prize yet. However, you know that it will come. And upon the path, there are still other trophies to claim before you make it to that next battle. And that was your dream. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I'm. The war. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, Brent, you already had your dream. And Cyrus. In your dream, you breathe heavily, panting as exhaustion pulls your arms earthward. However, the writhing darkness has been beaten back. You know this. You smell and feel and even taste it. That putrid darkness that was suffocating has been beaten back for now. However, you also sense that it is like a tide. You have stopped this tide, but it will return 
and you will be ready. In that darkness, you sense other points of light fighting back against it, though you did not see them. Some of the points were close, as if you could touch them, others distant, all of which were facing down against the same darkness, and all of them facing their own demons. This time you prevailed. This time you turned the tide. You grin as the smoke rises from your pistols, as your hands rise to find your exhaustion. You grin as you feel the light of divinity warm you. You grin as you feel the darkness of bad omen encourage you. You've won this day, and you'll be ready for the next day. You grin. Sounds to me I had a good dream. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was deep. And uh, that is your dream. Damn, which son. I just also that? realized I never gave you your second dream in, your, uh, in, the, in the DM. Oh. There you go. Oop. Hold on a second. Oops. Hold on a second. Yeah. Here's the second dream. And here's your third dream. Um, but yes, as you awaken, what do you want to do? I want to show off my new toy. (laughs) Go for it. Hey guys, look what I just built. Oh my. Did your dealing with dark forces reward you to that as well? I mean, I used fire. Does that count? No, no, it does not. Then no, I didn't. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a fine specimen of a weapon. Fucking. <laughs> is it just fancier than the one you had before? Extremely. Um, I think I hmm? sent a picture of somewhat. Yeah, right here. Can you go ahead and repost it. Uh, I am unsure as to which one has the uh, anti-material rifle you were thinking of. You sent many pictures of rifles. No, that was Gabe. He got <laughs> all of me. Oh. I, I was just joking around with like the doom gun and all that. Oh, okay. I, I, again, I was at work, so I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, uh, all I can tell is that you guys were having fun. I, don't know. I was. <laughs> Obviously, the gift I posted is what, what I imagine the anti material rifle looks like. Oh, the fucking big ass sniper rifle? Yeah. Uh, give me one second. Sure, sure, sure. I would assume we're trying to start heading back to the blacksmith and get our stuff. Cause... Well, your armor is... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm fine uh... with it, by the way. Okay, cool. Uh, it, it, like I said, it's going to take a week to, to craft completely. Got it. Cool. So, yeah, it is going to be a week before it, that's completed. Yeah, like, that's a bit of a uh, little bit of an order. Easily done, but it's just gonna need to take some time. Sounds good to me. <sighs> Wait, I, I sent the picture, DJ. Yep, I see it, and honestly, that looks that honestly looks fucking badass. I like it. Holy shit! <laughs> Very sleek. Uh, but yes, you start uh, showing off your gun. And uh, let, let, let me see that thing. Hand it over. Be careful with it. I don't have many shoots or uh, shots with that thing yet. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do anything. I take it from his hands. Oh, this is pretty hefty. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh-huh. I can't use it. It's too 
too much weight to it. I need to be a little bit more nimble, but this is cool. Here you go. I return it. It's lighter than the rifle I just gave you. How? How? <laughs> it's still too much half. Yeah. I mean, aren't you carrying my old rifle anyways? No, it's in the room. Okay. You know, that thing will probably save your life. But, all right. I will say uh, Zest doesn't have proficiency w with firearms. Uh, no, I'm just holding it. <laughs> <laughs> just saying you do uh, but uh, yeah he uh, he does not oh. um, but yeah so you guys are planning heading back to the blacksmith or well uh, uh, y'all uh, got everything you need from the blacksmith right I think we do, right? No, I do. Oh, um, <laughs> Cyrus, when did you get two attacks per action? Hmm? Me? No, Cyrus. Uh, oh, him. Huh. What are you talking yeah, about? Uh, yeah, if you go to your page, it says attacks per action, too. Attacks per action? Yeah, yes, you have two attacks, not counting your sp your bonus action attack. So you can is right above like everything. Oh that. right, that's right. It's your subclass. Nice. Because technically, clerics only get one attack per action. Your subclass gives you a, a bonus attack. A, a second oh, attack. oh, oh! Yeah, so I've not been doing that. No, so I, technically you have three attacks per round. Yes. If if you're du if you're dual wielding, you can buy One, a two, three. Three. Of course, I'm gonna be dual wielding. Why wouldn't I have two? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read that. Holy shit! I forgot about that. Anyways, now you know. Okay, um, but what are you guys doing? I got distracted. I was saying if um. Because the custom order thing is going to take a while. It's going to take a minute, yeah. So, unless anybody got anything they need from the black stuff, still. I, I assume we're just waiting around for Charles. And we're waiting for Charles. Okay. Well, uh, are you guys going to have breakfast? Let's. I'm down. Uh, for you know, I'll take a, take a bite. Okay. Somebody wants to fight on empty stomach. That's true. There ain't anything I can get for action, action, action taters. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, breakfast today will be an English full breakfast: grilled tomatoes with sausage and bacon, beans, uh, flapjacks, and eggs. Crap! Now I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That that made everything so much better. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so if, as a, but yeah, as you guys are eating, uh, towards the end of the meal, uh, Charles will arrive, and would ask if all the three, the four of you are ready. I am. God, is that a good time? Yeah. yeah. Hold up, my Craig's masterpiece. Oh, I'm ready. I was like, I have a new toy to try out. It's time to dispatch vengeance in Bahamut's name. Mm -hmm. I drinks. also feed uh, Frank to you know, okay. scoop full. Feed, feeding Frank is important. I don't want him to eat me. But <laughs> what? Nothing. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the three, the four of you. Uh, Charles will lead the four of you out of Dukrak's tower. By the way, Dukrak has not been seen this morning. He's right. he's been doing his own thing. Um, and he would lead you back up to the Espada estate. So looking like Charles, the, um, roguish looking high elf that looks very similar to Charlie from the images you've seen of, uh, Charlie, but different enough. Still wearing the, uh, gloves, uh, still wearing the gloves on his hands. Uh... As you guys approach the estate, uh, you would see Jack and several of his 
of his uh, close uh, servants approach. So, Jack, are you ready for um, searching for the uh, secret room in, in Charlie's? Yes, I'm quite ready for this. I've been waiting for this a long, long time. But, uh, they are coming with. And he would, he would gesture to the four of you. I look over at him and go, howdy. It's good to see you again. A pleasure. You do, do, you do good work, so I'm not sad about this. Oh, yeah. Well, what, the crack? And, yeah. But, yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was an honor. He would not. But you have the ring. Why, of course I have the ring. He would gesture to his, ha his hand that has the illusion of the ring over his ring finger. Over the glove as well. It's, in fact, you also notice that he's wearing quite a few rings. <laughs> uh, but he has the one he, ring. Oh, he has the one ring, but he has also several rings. Uh, one ring looks like it has a ruby the size of a dollar piece on, embedded in it. No, we still got the ring, don't we? Oh, you guys have the ring, yes. Okay. But he has the illusion of the ring. So we have the one ring. Yes. You have the one ring, he has illusion of the one ring. Now, now all we need is, is uh, Sauron. Jack would look to the four of you, whisper something to uh, his servant who runs off, and like, well, what are we waiting for? We have, uh, we have stuff we need to do. And he would turn and lead you guys in. And we'll follow. All right. Uh, about yep. halfway up, halfway up, you, uh, no, you will be, oh, sorry. You will be met with about, uh, four other people. Who would be falling behind? They don't say anything. Uh, they just sort of look to Jack, who nods. They head up to Charlie's office, and uh, Charles would tap you on the shoulder, um, Cyrus, ask and sort of like gesture for gesture to take the ring. Okay. Do you give it to him? Yeah. Okay. You said it was a uh, Charlie, right? Or Charlie? Or Charlie. Yeah, or Charles. Charles. Yes. Okay. Uh, he would swiftly and deftly turn his hand as if pulling off his ring, but in reality, he would be taking the ring from you, and he would walk over, flip the switch as if he knew exactly where it was, turn it, and click. Now. <clears throat> Now we have to uh, get through a small maze. That is no issue whatsoever. Just follow me, uh, Charlie, before he would pause and legitimately look sad. Like, like his heart was broken. And he just, for a moment, all the weights of Char Charlie's death just falls in on him and he seems to shrink before he takes a deep breath and is seems okay again anyways he would uh, take the ring he, he would he would shuffle he would motion for everyone to go through do you go through yeah yep yep okay. uh, yeah. once everyone is through he would pull out the ring and follow in Honestly, I'm not going to make you guys go through the entire dungeon again. Oh, why? Because, because I already know the whole path? That and <laughs> Charles is going to do the entire path. But after about five, ten minutes, you reach the uh, laboratory. DD. This is more than I've ever imagined. You know... Charles, I could have liked you. Say what? <laughs> uh, as the, 
the lot of you had been walking through the, through the maze, Jack and his companions would have slowly fallen a little bit behind, so he so they'd be leading you. So as you all enter, they all sort of spread out. I'm guessing blocking the only escape. Uh, pretty much, yes. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm just gonna get a few things set up. Hey, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> I hate you, Christian. <laughs> Get cross oh my Break God. your ankles. <laughs> entirely too much enjoyment out of my character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do. <laughs> I'll pray to that. Amen. Oh yeah. By the way, Brent, me and Christian were talking about your character's just Elias from uh, Clerks Two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't know, like talking about Dark Forces, Randall. <laughs> 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 yeah. Please say whatever you want <laughs> about Lizard Jesus, but leave the Transformers out of this. <laughs> Except for Transformers, this is my Craig masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, Hershey's born, damn it. Oh my god. Please give me the strength to cross up these demons. <laughs> oh man. I want that on a t-shirt now. Pleasure Jesus. No, this picture you sent is <laughs> at the bottom of it says cross up these demons, Pleasure Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a good shirt, not gonna lie. The ankles, baby. <laughs> cross in these motherfuckers. <laughs> As time goes on, there shall be more Lizard Jesus. I don't know why, but like the Harlem Globetrotters theme song is just playing in my head right now. Mm -hmm. Looking at this picture, that's fair. But <laughs> right. I'm on piano. Start recording. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Random four. side note, uh, Brent, did you get that uh that three D TikTok thing that, that I sent? I sent Gabe it. I don't know if you saw it. But it's like you can make maps and stuff like that for like D and D. It's really cool. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring that out, but I guess there you go. I'll, I'll, I'll share a link. Just no, wanted, you weren't. Just wanted to remember. This little, like, <laughs> no, you know. weren't. You're too high. You <laughs> tried to bring yeah, anything yeah. up. <laughs> Don't you fucking lie. Yeah, I remember <laughs> something of that nature when I was scrolling through it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man. It's pretty cool. That was it. Oh, nice. I'm having to actually look at it though. on my computer. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was like, I, I think it's like the one of those powerful websites things. Type. Yeah, it's one of those yeah. powerful websites. Yeah. You know? I don't know, man. I did the uh, the powerful website uh, like AI thing, and I kept trying to like make like I kept trying to like type in and make characters, even stuff that was already existing. And like it sucked. I was like, man, it just keeps making the same thing, but it's just like a different color. That's a, it's not even trying. Stupid AI. I got does everyone, by the way, does everyone see the map? Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys turn around and you see Jack with his sword ready. And his his left hand glowing. Thing is, I can't have any of you left alive. I do apologize to you for you've done good work, but I can't. Jack, have you left don't do this. He just grins. Roll initiative, please. Ooh, oh, I see you brought a you brought a butter knife to a gunfight, huh? <laughs> Oh, I get it, because he has a gun. Who has a gun? By Bahamas Will. You. You, I you, do. Will, you will regret so. Apparently, I have a fucking cannon on my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you do. 
Hey, Jack, you ever, see, you ever see the Annie Madden rifle? Uh, Annie, boom! All right. <laughs> All right, Leopold, you're up first. Oh, Jack man. is uh, standing there menacingly. God dang it. We Why are you standing there? We <laughs> woo. We woo. <laughs> Time to do some magic. <laughs> magic man. Oh man, I didn't even get to switch up my spells. Oh well. I'll give you a chance to do that right now. Yeah, I'll do. I'll, I'll do it during the turn. Okay. Uh, by the way, while you guys are fighting, uh, Charles just sort of laughs and just walks over here and like conjures up a chair. Like, well, this ought to be fun. And just sits down and watches. Don't worry, Charles, we got this. You stay there, man. <laughs> You're yelling like, we, we got What's this. Oh, on? sure, sure, guys. <laughs> I'm sitting homie in front. Is Jack? Yeah, this one here is Jack. Yeah. Gotcha. You got that flame, man. You should have made um, how many? Should have at least uh, made the icon a little different. How you can name him. You can name him. Oh, you, you can? Too. Yeah, no, yeah, see? Yeah, I mean, look. Dude, why does he look like great value brand Link? Damn. Because I right. That's his I mean, cousin, Lunk. They're, it, it, he's different, I mean. Oh, well, yeah, just make him a little bit bigger. No, he doesn't make him bigger. He can name it. Yeah, I'll, I will name it, though. Uh, that way, you know, you can know. Jack Septicai, top of the morning to you. <laughs> Shut up. Today's a good day to die. <laughs> No, 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 no. Today's a oh. good day to Oh, there we go. That, that's way better. <laughs> yeah, that way you know. <laughs> Attack the boss before we kill the ads. <laughs> <laughs> How far away am I from uh, Fyodor? Like, what? Not even. You're like 10 feet. 10 feet. feet. We're all uh, within 10 feet of you. Technically, right. everyone's within 20 feet of you at the moment. Like, uh, even Charles, who's just chilling up here, is oh, within man. 20 feet of you. Close quarters, baby. I got it. So I'm going to move backwards in between uh, Zess and Cyrus. Okay. How far am I from Fjordring now? 10. Ten. Oh, yeah. You, you literally... There's no... <laughs> <laughs> I, just want, I just need to know, man. I just need to be knowing stuff. All right, I'm yeah. going to go ahead and do, um, ooh, rolled what? Hold up. So going by the numbers, next is Brent, then me, and then Fyodor. Okay. The numbers that you know of, yes. Yes, that, that's what I mean. Like, that that's who, our, who we were going to rotate between. Mm. We don't know the numbers of them yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just double checking. So, so, okay. Wait, where the fuck is? Oh, there's there's yours. Okay, that's I was was wondering about that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate that Bardic Inspiration, and then uh, we're gonna. Who has? Uh, who, who are you giving it to? Uh, Bardic Inspiration is gonna go ahead and go to. Uh, we're gonna give it to. To zest. zest, um, but I'm gonna activate a uh, oh. or of or of accuracy. Oh, okay, or of accuracy. All right, you have bardic inspiration, and your aura is online, uh, and it's 15 feet, correct? 15 feet. Yep. So I'm just gonna put this here and spread this out so it's. 15 feet radius. It's 15 feet diameter. 10 feet and 15 feet. And just make sure that's 15 feet all the way around. No, it's... Yeah, so um, everything, yeah, everything currently within that right now, we also have resistance to thunder damage. Mm-hmm. And uh I can grant I, like, I can grant Brent that added add number roll. 
So yeah, I'm just I was like basically just uh, setting like just protecting because I'm there's, there's no reasoning with him at this point. <laughs> All right, that's that's your aura currently, fifteen feet. Yeah, it's a big boy. I'm going to uh, let me just scroll down real quick. Settings, and I'm just going to. To the back. All right. All right. So that's your aura. Wow. Aura. Eat it. Okay. Um. That's technically you've only used the bonus action. You still have a a normal action you could take. I'd probably have to switch all my spells for that. Okay. Uh, I I don't want to take away anybody's time. No, right, well, I mean, if that's all you want to do for this round, that's also reasonable. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You okay. know what? I think I think I'm good for right now. All right, then Zess, it is your turn. I will dart diagonally. Find it. up one. No, no, yeah. Uh, one more. There you go, right there. Don't steal them, man. You're, yeah, still, you're still within the the aura, though. Yeah, then I'm gonna slap in one of my holy divine arrows of light and shoot the guy above Jack. Him? Yes, him. Alright, roll the hit. And that's just the normal guard. Uh, you fire. And he quickly uh, raises up his shield and knocks it away. <laughs> and, he, and he slams his uh, club against his shield like, Hoorah! Lucky. Wait, I won't miss again. Then I'll... Wait a minute. What? Do you have you have aura of accuracy. What's going on? What's that do? Uh... Yeah, because I have to like keep calling it on that one. Oh yeah, your aura of ac accuracy um, well, does something. Yeah, I'm looking to. <laughs> it, it definitely does something. So I think it adds has your half your charisma modifier rounded up. Uh, each ally in the aura gains a bonus to their attack rolls equal to half of my charisma modifier rounded up. Okay, yep. what's your charisma modifier? Checking. Uh, plus four. So it's a plus two, so no, you hit. As <laughs> the uh, guy slams his club into the shield, the arrow explodes, going piercing the shield, and ugh, roll damage. Get wrecked, nerd! And then, and on top of that, and... I can't wait to grab piercing. Alright, yeah, six damage. He's, he's uh, like, ugh! Hold, hold up there, sir. I, I, I'd like to say hold on there. Um, I'm holding. Just saying oh, that's yeah, what with, happened. With a sound barrier. Uh, so the bar inspiration die granted by, by this, it can add a number rolled to temporary hit points. Yeah, but he didn't use his uh, bardic inspiration yet. Oh, you didn't? I mean, if, you, if you'd like. You're going to hold on to it? Just giving uh, you a heads up. For I now. Will, I will say yeah. you hit, so. Because I have a, another attack incoming. Bonus yep. action. Slap in a regular boat. Line up by Craig's masterpiece and fire again. All right, roll the hit. Eleven. Wow, that's three though. So what's how much do I get from this bar? Preparation. I think it's a plus. It's a D six. So technically, it's a thirteen. So, so you, three. you just need three. Yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> that hits. Roll damage. <laughs> and uh, you gain three points of temporary hit points. Nine points of damage. As, the, as he staggers back 
from from the first blow. You lock in another bolt, a and and he, and he head jerks back as he falls down dead. Nice. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have brought the riffraff. Jack, you can still stop this. I think he made his choice. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? No, yeah, that's all my movement and shots and everything. Don't forget to add nine, uh, six, uh, add three points of temporary hit points to your. Uh, all right, I did. Okay, uh, Cyrus, it's your turn. Oh, my turn already. Oh, shoot. So I roll higher than them? Nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and shoot Jack with Bad Omen. Okay. Fire. Wow, game. It was on that 18. Why you do this to me? 12. Does it hit? Uh, Jack, no. Even, even with the aura surrounding you, he just sort of he, he he slashes at the black bolt of energy and cleaves it into with his adamantine sword, dissipating it like naughty, naughty, naughty. But you technically have one more basic attack and then a bonus action dual wield attack if you want it. Let's see. I'll use, use my... the power of Bahamut. Well, I'm going to use a bonus action to shoot Divinity then. And you said I don't get I don't get the modifier for it or I don't get the dice. I forgot what, what it was. Uh, you have ranged dual wielding, don't you? Do, do I? Uh, <laughs> let me look. I see two weapon fighting. Uh, da, 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 feats. Yeah, you have range dual wielding, so you, you you add your modifier to uh to the damage. Okay. Yeah. So I okay, so the the hit dice could still use my modifier, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay. Hit. Sixteen. Uh, that hits. As he sits there taunting you, you whip out divinity, boom, <laughs> and you strike him. Uh, roll damage. Seven points of damage. He staggers back as the bolt of golden light strikes his shoulder like, ah, fuck. Show him power behind him again. And, okay, so you used your first attack action. You, first attack, bonus attack. You still have one more attack action. Mm, do I want to use it already? No. Behind you, uh, <laughs> to use your, uh, to use, uh, your anti-material rifle? Yeah. You would need to set, you you need to set that up first because it, you it's you got to put your guns away and then whip out whip it out. So at the moment you you have your pistols. No, dude, that my bardic inspiration is gone. Oh yes, your bardic inspiration is gone. So you uh, it, it it would take a bonus action to pull out. Uh, your answer to pieces. Okay. okay. I made it compact though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a heavy it's all uh, Let's see. Oh man, I forgot to cast Hunter's Mark. What a schmuck. Yeah, that's true. And you use your bonus action to attack with Divinity. Yeah. Now attack again with Divinity. Nah, we'll use Bad Omen again. No. Right, hit. <laughs> 17. That'll hit. Roll damage. Nine. Nine. That's actually pretty damn good. Uh, he takes the, an, another bolt to uh, another bolt at, of black energy this time, and he just seed and he seeds. I'm gonna enjoy this. Likewise. Is that your turn? That's all I can do. <laughs> all right, the guard. <laughs> The guard that um, Zest Merc would have been next, but now it's Fyodor. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I unshield Frank, uh, can I make a 
religion check and check if there are any like any type of group. Go for it. Do a religion check. Thirteen. One more. Okay, twenty three. I have a question. Are you trying? Are you? Is this just a general look, like a quick glance, or are you? Yeah, trying- yeah. Just, just okay. trying to see if, like, if I recognize from uh, any with other. A, with a twenty three, you actually recognize a symbol on the hilt of Jack's um, uh, blade. It has the same symbol as um, Karen's crest. Which may or may not be a religious symbol. You're not sure. Okay. But I will say uh, that that that's all you get for a uh, for a free action. Okay. All right. Well, I'm at rage then. All right, you're raging. That. Let me Hit go my ahead rage. and uh, let me just make you angry. There you go. You're angry. Yes, I slap my With rank. Psyduck mad. Uh, I'm going uh, to use a great weapon master and take that negative foe. <laughs> okay. Uh, who are you? I heard that. They're different. Who are you attacking? Uh, whoever's in front of me, so I'm going for Jack. <laughs> All right. You rush up to Jack. And I use Frank to attack him. All right, swing with Frank. <laughs> That's a one. He effortlessly dodges to the side as you cleave down, and it bounces off the ground. Uh. <laughs> The blade just sort of crinkles almost like a uh, according just for a second before reforming. I th- uh, that's it, right? That's all I got, right? That's all you got, yes. Mm, yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> all right. Let me... Uh... All right, that is your turn. You you hear from Frank, fucking a, <laughs> fucking a, watch it. I'll be out here, man. <laughs> Jack is going to roll his shoulders like. Nah, he said, "Help have... me out here, man, <laughs> <laughs> dick." <laughs> you slap Frank against the floor, you asshole. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, Jack is going to roll his shoulder and. Uh, Going to uh, pull back his uh, adamantine sword and swing at you. Uh, for one second, the uh, for a fifteen to hit, does that hit you? Uh, no, that doesn't even come close to hitting you. Not, oh, not, yeah, not even a little bit. You, you, it, he, he swings his sword and it bounces off your your uh, shoulder. As Jack just sort of takes a takes a double take, like, huh. Then he raises a hand and uh, his his glowing hand and fires a Eldritch blast at uh, Eldritch blast at uh, you Zest. Well, hey, hold on. Hey, you only killed one of his underlings. D- d- dive, dodge. Uh, does seventeen hit? Uh, yeah. That just hits. So that's uh, one d ten plus. That's three. right on the money. For minimum damage, so you take four points of force damage. I take one point of force damage. You take one point of force damage. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Temporary hit points. <laughs> uh, but that is Jack's turn, as it is now 
one of his personal guards uh, is up. Just one second. I'm just figuring out what uh, uh, this guy is going to run up here. And uh, is going to aim at uh, at Fyodor since he's attacking Jack with a uh, light crossbow. Holy shit! But it ain't no Craig masterpiece. It ain't, uh, and that'll miss badly. Repeating. Yeah, that's gonna miss the. Uh, This guy is, this one is going to, that'll be his turn. This guy runs up and is going to try and, is going to go like this. I think you could do that. Let me just double check, make sure that's enough. 10, yep, yeah, he's going to go right here and is going to swing with a uh, dagger attack as he tries to stab into you. Maybe. I think that still misses. Yeah, <laughs> nope, that still misses. Because knife. you have you your, your knife, <laughs> your, new, your new bracers, <laughs> and this guy is going to run up right here, pull out in, pulling out a short sword, and with advantage this time because he's flanking with his with his friend. It. Is going to <laughs> swing at you with a sh short sword. Uh, that'll hit, but let me see if I get a nat 20. No, but he does hit with a 21. 21. Dealing uh, 1d6 plus a sneak attack of oh, shit, road. extra 1d6. And uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, uh, Fyodor. Oh, poison. No. Yep. 18. I think that, I think, I'm pretty sure you pass. But you take uh, seven... Uh, oh, actually, let me break that up. Here's the short sword, which gets halved. These are raging. Five plus three is eight, I think. Uh, yeah, five plus three is eight. So you take four points of slashing damage... Plus an extra three points of sneak attack damage. So that's uh, seven points of damage. And uh, you take... Oh yeah, this is a pretty hefty poison. You do pass the, 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 the poison save, but you still Ooh. take... Seven... Roll. The hell did I just hear? Like 30 dice. <laughs> you take it. It hit me. It hit. 25 points reduced by half to 12 points poison damage. Oh, Are you worried about shit. my rifle? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So, no. so 12 no, 13 damage, these right? <laughs> no, that was uh, 76, but... Uh, so, yeah, if you take a total of 12 plus uh, 12 plus 4 plus 12 plus 7, right? Uh, I think it was... It was 7 12. all together. The yeah. 6 pack plus the slash. Yeah, so it was... Uh, yeah, so 12 plus 7 is 19 points of damage this round. Please. Then, then it, that's all. That's all, folks. Aren't you glad we don't have level one uh, hit points in the game? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Eindrick, it is your turn. You just okay. watch Fyodor laugh off like three attacks, and then one of them finally gets a good stab in, and he just like doubles over as black. Uh, veins start creeping in, in from the wound towards his heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
let's see. What can I do here? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Mm. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna have to heal this motherfucker. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I mean, you don't have to do anything. I gotta stop them somehow. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, yes, and Charles goes. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> mm, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh... can I cast Bane? Sure. Pick those. Pick. I'll pick those three that are around Fyodor. Jack and two two of his uh, personal guard. Yeah. yeah. So, the quick question. Uh huh. Can we stack? Stack what? No. If Christian uses Bane, I use Bane, and just you know. Yep. That will stack. Okay. Just wondering. Okay. Yeah. You use Bane. They are all Bane. Oh wait. That the, do, do they get a save? Says uh, three creatures. Uh, I can see must make a charisma saving throw. Thank you. I'm just gonna make a charisma saving throw for the first one. Uh, ten plus. Zero. It's a ten. So, no fail. Uh. Six, fail, and for Jack, three, that's a fail. Yeah, they, they all fail. Okay, so then uh, whenever a target that fails a saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number roll from the attack roll. Yep. Yeah, or a saving throw. Cool. Yep. So they're all baned. Yeah, so, so, that will, so at least will lower any damage that they're going to do to you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to hit him anymore. He has fucking 19 AC. Yeah, you should be fine. <laughs> um, can I... I can't cast Healing Word 2 also, huh? Uh, Healing Word, is that a bonus action? No, it's um, it's, it's a spell. Okay, yeah, because you, since you did Bane, you won't be able to cast Healing Word now. Um, I can do, I can spend Bardic Inspiration yep. to heal you, Gabe. So there's that. Well, I can heal everybody. But... I mean, I, I'm not up to me. What do you mean? A, I got to save you, little guy. All right. Give me that. <laughs> give me, give me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, heal me. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Save, yeah. save me now. Save me, save me now. Yeah, what was it? So, Bardic Touch. Uh, I don't know if that should be near you. Good. Um, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and hopefully, I mean, fuck, that's, that's just a 1d4, my friend. <laughs> that shit might not heal you by much. It might not heal you at all. <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and go Bardic Touch. Okay. Uh, Mark off another uh, bardic inspiration. Yeah, and so. everyone or in in it, uh, every. Uh, I I think I roll. Yeah, you roll, and uh, everybody will get and, as a boon of healing. Yep. All right. All right. Heart heart of the cards. Help Joey Wheeler out. <laughs> That's right, you. Did it roll? Fucking man. God damn it. Nope, oh, there he goes. It's rolling. All right. Two. Everyone heals two hit points. 
I mean, what if I'm already yeah. maxed out? Oh, then you just sit there looking pretty. That yeah. puts me back at max. What, the one that you got taken away? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the goal here was to heal Gabe. <laughs> the goal everyone gets, the, Yeah. Yeah, get Fjordor, so. <laughs> hey, an extra two hit points might save his life. It did mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. I did my. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Do anything else? Uh, that was an action and a bonus action. Yeah. Unless you want to move. Mm. Well, that's a fifteen foot radius. It's still fine. Uh, no, yeah, that should be fine. I will. Um, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. Okay. Then, Zest, it's your turn. Back into me. Uh, alright. Well, uh, since my big man's there, a little surrounded, I'll grasp thy holy symbol. Mm -hmm. Behind it, I beseech thee to protect my friend from thy enemies, and I'll cast shield of faith. Oh, Shield of Faith. Can you tell the, the friends at home what Shield of Faith does? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a shimmering field appears or surrounds a creature of my choice, and he gains two to his AC. God damn it. He's ready hard enough to hit. <laughs> <laughs> He's already hard enough to hit. <laughs> All right, well, Fyodor, you now have an AC of 21. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> then I open fire on this man directly in front of me. Go for it. Uh, I'll slap in the good old arrow. Oh, oh wait, is, is Shield of Faith uh, an action to cast? Oh shit! Is that an action or a bonus action? Let's find out. Yes. Sales. Oh, that I believe. Oh, bonus action. We're good. All right then. Yeah, go for it. Fire away. <laughs> Fire away. With a oh arrow of light, okay. Uh does that hit? No, he quickly just ducks out of the way, his attention yeah, turns to you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh uh, well, I to keep forgetting I'm in the aura. Yeah, you Plus are in two. the aura. that actually just hits. From behind him, the arrow explodes, dealing damage. <laughs> they keep gonna remember this away, away, what? But, Wait, but what, they, what does the aura do? Gives you plus it two. It, it gives you plus two to hit. Uh, that's a lot of charisma. Points of damage as he just gets he gets knocked forward. Uh, radiant light uh, burning his back. So leave now. Uh, Bahama will strike you down. Hey, DJ, so that first time with uh, Bad Omen, that would have been a 14 then, right? Yeah, it, it, that still misses. Okay, cool. That, I was just, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, no, I, I, I've i been keeping track. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> uh, but yes, is that your turn, Zest? Yep, that's everything. All right, Cyrus, it's your turn. Let's see. Let's... You know what, Fyodor, just because, you know... You all right? <laughs> all right. If you, if you show the faith, it will blast. No, I'm a, I'm a heal him a bit. Yeah. But so I'm a cast a, uh, a level two, cure wounds. Oh no, I have to touch. Never mind. Healing word. Healing word. Okay. Roll so. your heal. So you heal another six. All right, yay! And as a bonus action, I'm gonna Should cast word, Bane word, right? on the guy at the bottom. Oh, not Bane! Uh, fucking Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Oops. Uh, Hunter's Mark. Uh. Do 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 do. Uh, I'll do this one. Uh, 
Oh, crap. Don't forget your uh, class features, by the way, uh, Cyrus. What you mean? Did uh, I like get the second attack? That thing? No, that you technically you don't get a second attack because you use a spell. No, but like laugh at their fewer. You can become a terror that you could uh, you could force a uh, target you've injured to uh, become make a wisdom saving throw. And if what is this at? It's under your class features. Go to features and traits. Class Trace, features. Okay, it's down here, okay, right here. Thing. Laugh at their fear. Wait. It just says is... psychic damage. That's it. Click it. That's good man. Also, wouldn't Mike... Oh, um, man, did not think that had more to it. He has three attacks. Yeah, we established that. But he yeah, only... Not... But he, he, he used a, a spell instead of an attack. And you can only get two, two at your a second attack if you start, started your action with an attack. Yeah, you should go through your class features, Mike, and uh, read up. Yeah, I probably should. So if the target fails, so wait... Okay, but is that your turn? So, bitch. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, now you do. All right, well, the that guard is this? dead. When you make an attack Your roll, door. you can take minus five of the roll to do an extra two D. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know this was a thing. You kind of, seriously, sit down and read your sheet. I didn't know there was more to this. I thought it was just like, oh, here, boom. I didn't know I clicked on it and it had more. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any case, Fjordor, it's your turn. Go, okay. our tank. <laughs> a tank will never be hit again. <laughs> I'm angry. Uh, and you right, can uh, hit whatever you want. You go, you die all. <laughs> Just fucking kill them all. <laughs> uh, who was the one that hit me? The one uh, to your. The one at the bottom. This one right here. The one that casted fucking. Uh, boy. You got a fucking go. <laughs> you, I mean, see, little sneaky boy. Or unless you got something else. <laughs> I mean, he's a rogue. I don't know. I mean, uh, we've seen Mike as a rogue. I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying not to kill him. Just, just, I'm just saying well, words, should, man. Maybe That's he it. should be a kind of a prioritized target. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna lift my mimic sword back up. Okay. And ah. even though I don't like the hit, I'm gonna go for Jack. Oh, you're gonna hit attack Jack? Yep. I'm a Rex Rexly attack. Rex, okay, I'm, there you go. And I'm gonna take that five two on top of that. Okay, so reckless with minus five, got it. So he attacks with advantage. It does. Go for the first one. I'm glad that's advantage. Uh, Humby, that's a seven. Plus two. Kind of get a decent. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. You Roll your crit damage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you cleave 35. Jack as he he grunts like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to use the mimic great sword? Uh, yes, I'm gonna take a turn. All right, <laughs> all right. Okay. as you uh, t as you sick the mimic on him, the uh, the uh, ha the handguard just spreads out. Eyes appearing on one side as it as the other side just spreads wide as a giant mouth appears. Uh, roll, I need to roll a uh, strength saving throw, I believe. Oh, sorry, let me just double check how you... the word is. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> Jack better be happy he was Jack. <laughs> Any one of those guards is to death. Okay, um, roll a uh, strength check, and I have to roll a strength check. That's what it is. So, And you get advantage because you're raging. No, there is, right? So. Yeah, one more. Yeah, 
Okay. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Uh, he begins to f- f- fight it off, but the mimic bites down onto onto his uh, arm as he screams. Uh, roll the two d six acid damage. I'm strong as fuck, boy. Two d six. Two d six. Damn, he's smacking with a dirty five. Plus another 12, 47. 12 points of damage. <laughs> Gabo came to play. <laughs> uh, actually, since this was a crit roll, uh, I'm doubling that to 24. Oh. Oh my. As the mimic, as Jack screams out, the mimic rears Nine. back, mouth opening wide, and swallows Jack whole. Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> what did you do? He fed a sword. <laughs> he fed a sword, yeah. He's a... <laughs> he was like, nah, yo. Yo? <laughs> Hoggle? You just hear Jack scream before he gets quickly and viciously cut out. You're in your keep today, Frank. <laughs> oh, oh, my gummy bear. And I want to do a quick wisdom saving throw for the rest of them. Uh, okay. Okay. Now does Bane work? It's just for attack. Uh, yeah, they have to each take minus four. Okay. Oh, yeah. roll And then roll a d4. No, just roll a d4. And then subtract that from the number rolled from their saving throws. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Is that your turn? Um, or I, I think there's something else I might be able to do here. Did you roll a d4 for, uh, and then minus it? I did. I think that's oh. everything, Gabo. Um. Uh, I think that's it. Hold up. Uh, did I reduce some on a, a critical hit? Or was it because of the the mimic? Oh, no, that's because of the mimic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Jack is um in the belly of the beast. Uh, this guy is just going to scream and book it the fuck out of here. <laughs> this guy okay. is going to scream and book it the fuck out of here. Do, are you going to make an attack of opportunity on him? And yes, I am. Roll, roll to attack. Poison you. He caused no. blood. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's th- this guy who, uh, who, who's, who was attacking, who's running first. Kill them both. That will hit. Roll damage. 11. And do you wish to uh, sick the mimic on this one? Yes. All right. Roll a strength check for me. And again, you get advantage because you're raging. And I minus Oop. four from this. Yes. <laughs> Oh well, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, the mimic uh, lashes out, latching onto him, so he does not go anywhere. He's stuck right here. Uh, roll the damage. Oh, wrong one, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, roll the uh, the two d six. He did five and deals another five points of acid damage as the mimic. Uh, bites down on him. All right, is that your turn? Oh, actually, yep. that, that was his turn. Uh, he, the last guy is going to go fuck, 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 and is going to try and stab you again. Oh, the ball of this. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one who's, who passed his uh, check, even with Bane. Uh, but that is that sorely misses as 
as he as his short sword just c- uh, cuts forward and just hits nothing. Hey, uh, well, and, that still has AC of twenty one. Leopold, it's your turn. Oh, so is that other guard on top still there, or he just got no, he ran away? He dipped. Uh, this guy is still here, yes, because he's currently being held by the mimic. Oh, okay. This guy over here just fucked off. Like, nope, I'm out. Uh, let's see. Um, what's it called? So, yeah, uh, heal. It says healing words of. Cast casting time one bonus action. So is it a bonus action? Yeah, that's a bonus action. Fuck. See, yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say <laughs> when you guys were talking with Mike. Did the Hilly where I was like, isn't that a bonus action? But I went back and I was like, that's a fucking bonus action. Yeah, no, that, go, that is bonus action. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cast healing word on you know boy over here. I mean, sure, I'm not, go for it. Wait, is he like poison damage at all? No, he's not poison at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he resisted it. That's why he only took 12 instead of 25. Yeah, honestly, had uh, Fyodor not resisted it, he would probably have been at like 7 hit points and almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> I looked up. So like, oh, so you're, you're good though, you're not like dying. No, no he's, I'm he's not dying. Oh, okay then. You can, you can go to hell and you die. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'm not surrounded anymore. So yeah. How far away are they from me? Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Never mind. If I cast, if I cast Shatter, would that would that hurt Fyodor too? Uh, let me take a look at what Shatter does. Spells. Do, 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 do. Shatter. One action, range 60 feet in a 10 foot sphere. Uh. Oops. Let me just put this here. This sphere it can be 10 feet, so this is. That's 10. That's ten. I was gonna say, where'd that imp come from? <laughs> uh, in a ten foot sphere. So that's actually like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. So technically, uh, if you place it like. Uh, if you just if you can place it like right here, I could say it would hit both of them, but not Fyodor. That's generous of you. That it really is. is. Yeah, that is not because he's good. in it. He they're all in it. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, right here, right here, they, right here. They, uh, it's a, uh, it's close, but I, I can, I can wiggle. Oh, he's it. he's not he's not counting the line on top of him. He's talking about like. Like literally, like ble- slightly bleeding into it, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah, if you do it I like mean, right here, uh, I would yeah. give Fyodor advantage on it. If you do it like right here, because you're not ain't trying no, to hit Fyodor. Same time, there ain't no reason to. Or you could just do it like right here and hit Fyodor. Oh and wait, both them. he fine. He's fine, anyways. Oh right, you he, have, he doesn't uh, take thunder. He doesn't take thunder damage. So he's good. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay. So yeah, you, you you can do it. You can just drop it on I'll top do, of him. He's fine. Well, no, I'm not gonna drop it on top of him. I'll just do it on that edge, so you know we're not just being a dig. Yeah. Shatter. Be gone with the thundercloud. Uh, at what level? Uh, I have a second level one. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, let me. So, the Constitution saving throw. Yep. Roll. Is he immune to thunder damage, or he resistant to fire damage? Fifteen. Uh, let's find out right now. Bane. He's resistant, I believe. 
So he takes half damage. So 12... Plus... Resistant, oh. yeah. He has resistance to thunder damage. Plus zero. So that's, a, that's a fail for the first one. Get ready to die. Clown. Oh. You and uh, this is going to be a fail as well. Yeah, that's as a twelve and a ten, so they both fail. Nice. Can we? Can we? I'm here. <laughs> you said a row. What was well, it Dex? Is it Dex? Well, wait, uh, so Gabe has advantage, right? He has just roll Constitution. Uh, yeah, roll Constitution. Uh, saving throw, Gabe. Because he can, he can half a half. If yeah, he makes yeah. it. <laughs> what he did? <laughs> yeah, you uh, you you easily pass that. All right, go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> Three D eight. Hey. <laughs> oh, okay. Four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fyodor, you take four. Or, yeah, Fyodor, you take four points of thunder damage as a loud n- noise hits your ear. Like, ow! What was that? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like get him yeah, with the both of them. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, this this one right he. Oh, actually. Yeah, this one right here with the, that the mimic is holding immediately dies as spurts of blood erupt fr- fr- from his ears, and he just sort of he sort of thrashes in, in a uh, in a death spiral before going down, and Those is probably hands. eaten by Frank. Leopold claps with his hand symbols. You love blowing up people's heads, I see. And uh, so I'm you're gone. However, the other one is still up. He, he, just, he, he goes to one knee holding both his ears, and but he is still up. By the way, does that spell does anything else? I'm actually checking right now just in case to see if he's just like blind or dead. Or... <laughs> 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 I was like, he might, he might just be. I was like, he might be good. For the most part, he might be good. He good. Be, uh, uh, however, I will say all the uh, all the ground just sort of cr- cracks and and buckles around f- from the sound of the uh, from the sound. But yeah, he's still up, barely, but he's still up. Is that your turn, uh, Leopold? Yeah, that's it. Good man. All right. Zest, yeah, it's your turn. Me? Mm-hmm. Mike, you went already? What? I said Mike went already? No, you're before me, dummy. Uh, well, I'll maneuver myself down, I don't know, like 20. Right yeah, uh-huh. Now I look at that guard and say, you follow the unrighteous man and it led you into the path of behind his vengeance. Look, man, can you just, can you shoot him? I got to take a shit and I need to see what happens. <laughs> just shoot him. <laughs> I don't have to kill him. <laughs> just shoot, shoot him. Him. Shoot him. <laughs> uh, roll persuasion if you're trying to talk him down. No, I'm yeah, talking to Brent. I'm talking, oh, fuck that. <laughs> I thought you meant me. I was like, no, I'm talking to Brent. Tell him to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Three, where is it? Oh, there it is. Twelve. Okay. I could. That was a nineteen. They could have gave it to me. <laughs> uh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, he uh, he looks over to you, uh, his eardrums bleeding, before he throws his short, short sword down and puts his hands up. All right, I surrender. I surrender. And just like that, fellas, we now have somebody who can corroborate our story. Thank you for making the smart move. All right. Nice. Combat has ended. Uh, a few moments later, you hear the sc- you hear uh, a scream and a bunch of chittering 
Oh, coming from figured. further down the uh, down. DJ, the, you just really wanted to use those imps, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what you made him run, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, no, actually, I rolled, and he rolled really low. They oh. both did. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, he he's so yeah he he's gone. Uh, but yeah, combat has ended. You have a prisoner, and I'm going to go ahead and call it for a bathroom break since it seems like people need to use the bathroom. Yes, I need to go. I've been holding it for this whole combat. <laughs> All right, so bathroom break, real quick. Give about five minutes. Sure. Everyone to the bathroom. Well, I don't have to go. Water break. <laughs> um. I guess I'll do something too. Where were you gonna go do? Me, I'm sitting here. I mean, but you have to go take a like a bathroom break, though. You can't just stay here. The hell, I can't. Lizard Jesus. All right. Um, That's my answer to that. If you got some colored commentary, go ahead and go. I'm gonna go. Uh, There's nobody else here. It's just me and you. Talk to yourself, then, nerd. Oh, yeah. Do. I'm still here. Oh, look, you got both back. Shut up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Good on you, Gabe. Reckless weapon mastery. Dead. I didn't realize that I, I, that did, didn't count like as a action. It's just you have to call it out. Yeah, no, they just they just activate if you call them out. You just gotta call it out in the first turn. That's it. I'm like, ah, okay, okay. Maybe you should have Frank be, uh, what? Hand at? No. How many attacks do you get per round? Anyway? One? Uh. I think so, right? Just one, right? One swing? Oh, yeah, until you get like level five, I think. Then you, then you go up to two. Oh, shit. Never mind, yeah. Keep Frank as is. A great sword. Because you have to waste your bonus action to rage anyway. True. <laughs> just the thing right now is that because I just cleaved them in one go. <laughs> and then uh, one hell of a cleave. Because <laughs> does a battle count as uh, every person you fight, right? Huh? A, a battle. Uh, what do you mean? Like, what what ability are you trying to tell? Uh, me? I uh, I guess it's my hunter trophy hunter ability. Oh yeah, the, no battle is like the fight itself. Oh, so it can just be one person at a time, then, <laughs> or the whole fight. Well, I don't actually know what you're like whole. Subclass does so. You you gonna talk to the dungeon master about that one? Yeah. Balls and I, we killed what three dudes? Well, one of them got eaten by a sword. Okay. But there's two two guards here that can scan for trophies. That's true. And with your crown, it should hopefully be good. Oh, who the, who who got you here? Oh. Yeah. You the sword ate Jack. Dang, ain't, ain't with armor and everything. I don't even do we did we need his body? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was needed for <laughs> Yeah, I, I certainly hope you didn't need his body. You you ain't getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be like no, no, spit it out. Bad. Bad sword. Bad sword. <laughs> 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 I'm back. Just had to be Kit Kat. Hi, Kit Kat. She can't hear you. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I have headphones on. Damn. Yeah. Oh, well, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> yeah, when, when, he's, when you're right, you're right. Yeah, help him. That was weird. Well, we don't need his body. We have a, we have a we have a prisoner who corroborated the story. We don't is, need his body. Is the prisoner in our inventory? 
<laughs> yeah, he, he, he owes in my back pocket, actually. <laughs> like, as soon as he said, he's like, yeah, not going to prison. I was like, is he in our inventory? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. I caught it. He's mine now. You're like, let me reason. Spot a guard. Me. I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Leopold. Reason with animals. <laughs> Leopold with people. Bah! <laughs> bah! Bah humbug. It was like, my ears splat. <laughs> Brownie. One minute. Forever. I thought, just, I thought he was calling Gabe the... Oh. <laughs> I thought he was calling him Brownie. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of, I'll miss Brownie. Yeah, she's being rebellious. <laughs> Good. She's been a sweetheart all her life. She needs a rebellious state. <laughs> <laughs> need a... Wow. 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 I'm so excited. So, uh... Yeah, what? Wait, so, like, what happened to the imps? Because I, I didn't really hear. Oh, the guard that ran away after Jack got eaten? He got eaten. He, did, he didn't know about the traps. Or he didn't know the, the safe way through them, so he just triggered them all. <laughs> or a few, and the imps just, I'm assuming, killed him. So you got Griggles ganked. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. Those of you who don't know what a Griggles gank is... Look it up. I'm coining it here. All right. <laughs> We're all coming back. <laughs> Something you could Google? <laughs> no, I, I don't think you can. If and if you, if, I, I feel like I've tried at one point. And if you <laughs> if you can really Google it, I'm gonna be upset because I made that up in the middle of the street. <laughs> all I'm seeing is griddles. Good. No, no, no. Gri no, griggle. Griggle. Skank. Wriggle? What? Wriggle. Let me, let, me, let me write it out. Yeah, type what? it out, please. What? Griggle skank? Oh, griggle skank? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. You might find something really raunchy, so just be probably shouldn't. Nope, do. it it does nothing. No, I thought so. Anyways, is everyone back? Coin the term. Just gonna yeah. say it right here. Coin in the yep. term. Think so. Okay, yeah. now that combat is over, and you hear the screams of someone horribly mauled, being mauled by robotic imps. Uh, the guy who poisoned Fyodor is. On his knees, hands up, sword on the ground. Because I'm still pointing the crossbow at him. Regard. So. Do you accept his surrender? Uh, yes. Uh, we need you. Or him. Yield. He already yielded. Okay. He made the smart decision. Plus, we kind of need him. Well, he did watch his boss and his um, his uh, the other person he, who he worked who worked with just get eaten by a fucking sword. So, well, no, the other guy got clapped by lightning. Yeah, he yes. got clapped. <laughs> but since he was since he was um, since he was uh, grappled by Frank, oh, he got eaten. Yeah. But yes, uh, you hear a burp from the sword. Hey, Frank. Frank. <laughs> nice one. Got anything, Frank? Tastes like chicken. Get to hey, my it. sword! <laughs> I walk over where I left my sword and pick that back up. Yeah, you, you get your sword back. Uh, nah. Can I make a investigation <laughs> check on see like? All right, you guys okay, ain't so doing like that. 
if I can collect anything. <laughs> oh, sure. Lord, I feel. What would you like to collect? Uh, I mean, me me and Brandon already kind of, kind of looted. I think he's got a trophy on it. I would prefer to get some trophies out of this. <laughs> well, there's a slight problem with that. One's okay. eaten, one's head's blown up. <laughs> right. The uh, other guy ran away, and uh, this guy's not dead. Um, yeah. That's the thing. The two people who did die in front of you were eaten by Frank. One of them surrendered, and the other one's in the other room, uh, currently being eaten, but mauled by imps. No, I, I shot a guy. <laughs> yeah, he, that's the one who got mauled by imps. No, no, the first guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. that guy. Yeah, the very first guy. Yeah, uh, roll me a medicine check, uh, Fyodor. Medicine? Yep. All right. Oh, Five. You attempt to uh, take a skull trophy and accidentally crush it in your hand. Maybe oh. I should do that for him. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you're disappointed in yourself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, but yes, I... Uh, the um, the guy is going to, like, retch as you walk over to his his uh, other guy and you just rip out the uh, dead elf skull but, and crush it in your hand by mistake <laughs> as he just that's, retches and... That's colorful. <laughs> well, I must admit, that was quite amusing. Oh, shit, Charles, Pat, you're here. Yeah, uh. <laughs> he was literally watching us the whole time. Yes, well, you had the moment, all right. To be fair, I was wrong in calling to be you. Fair. To be fair, you're at least wor- you're at least worth the merit of soldier. You know what? Thank you for that compliment. He would walk over to the magic circle and tap his foot against it. Abby, Abby. And the Bone Devil would appear. Once again, lazy and like, Yes, what do you want? What's up, Abby? Hello. Greeny, again. Alright, dude, this is Creldor and Leopold. They're new. They're, they're part of the group. Hello. Bone Demon. A pleasure. Now, what do you want? Do you have the uh, little elf boy? A slight complication. He would look over to the mimic. The body is... Frank ate him. Yes, that. That is a problem now, isn't it? Well, I ain't gonna have to be the one to explain it to the boss. (laughs) Oh boy, what is Fjordar gonna be turned into now? Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, chew. Abby would disappear, and he goes, <clears throat> Master Ball. And the entire room goes dark as the two eyes just reappear, hovering within the circle. You failed me. No, no. I have not failed you. Things... Didn't happen quite like we uh, I had planned, but I did not fail you. The Jack boy is dead and gone. And he will look at the memory. Not coming back. And mm-hmm. he would wiggle his fingers, and you would see two... Excuse me, three uh, orb-like lights. One extremely dark, two of them kind of gray. And it's not like his souls got away. And oh. he would gesture, wow. and the souls would enter the darkness. That is ball. Oh, Unfortunately, I wish to have destroyed him myself. However, you, the the eyes would close, and the darkness would begin to fade. Continue your work, Abby. Ah, uh, Abby would reappear, just sort of like holding the side of his head. What? 
What do you want? I need my soldiers. The, um, you know the ones. <sighs> I. I'm but keeping an eye with? on our prisoner. Hmm? Okay. I'm Does keeping it... an eye on our prisoner. Does anybody do anything during this entire conversation, by the way? I'm just watching. Yeah. That's kind of wild. <laughs> okay. Um, Abby would stand up and actually kind of look presentable, like... And, uh... Let me just do a quick roll. Uh... Two imps would appear and walk out. One, uh... One barbed devil. And... Huh. Five incubi and six succubi appear and exit the uh, the uh, the circle. All right, call me if you need me. And Abby snaps his fingers, and the circle goes dark, and he disappears. Excellent. What about Muhammad's name? What do you think? I was just going to take things over with my good looks. No, no. You inspect so many of them so quickly, that's all. Seems like they didn't have anything better to do. <laughs> now then, he would turn to his little army and begin explaining the plan, how uh, he would point to the two imps and tell them to transform. One looks exactly like Jack, the other looks like um, the other one that got, you know, eaten. Yeah. <laughs> You two explained, I'm going to need you to, to explain to the rest of the Espada family that I'm taking over. And you two are going far to the south. I want you to leave for a week and then return as Charles servants. Yes. You, and he would point over to uh, Barrow. I need you to go out and begin scouting out good locations to, to begin spreading my wealth. The barbed devil just sort of grumbles and disappears in a flash of black fire. A new group. He would point to the incubi and the succubi. Honestly, I just need you to do your thing. Get the espadas on my side. And they would all sort of grin very devilishly, and they would all turn into extraordinarily attractive elves. Now then, let's get to work. Oh, and, uh, you turn to you. You can... Go, I can handle this from here. You want to keep him him around? He, even though you know he did try to kill us, he he can be of use to you. Oh, he is not going to. The fact that he surrendered, and as long as he 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 devotes himself to me as he did Jack, he'll have he'll live and actually become quite. Yeah, well, I won't say wealthy, but respected. See that, buddy? I pat the, the prison on the back. Things looking up for you. He just kind of looks pale as he just watched a myriad of demons appear in his in his basement. No, don't look too shocked. They're going to help you. Hopefully. All right, well, uh, we're going to go head on back to the crack. Tell a mission complete. Uh, I got, I got, I got one question before we leave. No. Uh, hey, Charles, do you know anything about this gun? He, a uh, bad omen. Yeah. He would walk over to you again before frowning. Why huh. does everybody do that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like the two, the, the two the two the two demonic people I've ever met, and you guys both frown at this thing. What what is <laughs> the hell? <laughs> well, to be quite simple, this is a weapon of the abyss. We're all from the we're all from the hells. Ah oh, shit! Demons and devils are a constant war. As a rakshasa, I oh he would snap his fingers and his illusion would fade, revealing the fact that he's a giant tiger man. As a Rakshasa, I mediate between both groups. 
Um, this does seem very familiar to me, though. The magic, anyways. I'll look into it for a price. Uh, are we talking money or something else? <laughs> a favor for a favor. Sure. You. He would, he would offer his hand. But okay, I, sh I, sh I shake it. Okay, you feel a chill, but like very well. Once I find out some information, I'll let you know. So what's this uh, price you're making me pay? Well, once I have a favor for you to complete, I'll let you know. Okay. Anyways. Toodaloo. And he would transform back into Charles. He's just like, yeah. I gotta make another side quest. <laughs> pick the guard. Oh, and pick him up. By usher him to his feet. I'm like, come on, buddy. Get you something to drink and get some ale in you. You'll feel better. <laughs> And you're he probably is not going to argue with it. He's just going to follow you out. And for uh, your I, own safety, you probably want to keep all this to yourself. Who would believe me? Exactly. <clears throat> no evidence. <laughs> um, as you enter the room with all the uh, imps who spawn, you would see a pile of about 15 of them just clawing away at a bloody sack of meat. Oops. That's they all me. stop and sort of look at you. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, roll intimidation. <laughs> sure. Roll intimidation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all All right. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a pretty damn good roll. They all scatter. In, in, they all scatter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and taking the path that we know is safe, we we leave. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're still around. You can hear them chittering, but they they, they just fucking scatter. No, well, uh, as long as they don't attack, they'll live. You do hear someone all of a sudden stop chittering and hear a loud crunching noise coming from the direction of the well. But other than that. No, uh, nothing happens. The well. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could quickly make your way out. Um, mm -hmm. honestly, XP. no one's gonna stop. Hmm? XP. Yes, we'll begin to that in a second. Okay. Uh, I, would, I would have mentioned to Charles that we're gonna go grab a druid. Because the crack asked us to regrow his field. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Yeah. Before we left, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, but no one will stop you walking through the... Uh, will stop you walking through because technically you're there on a spot of business. Yep. And you are walking with one of Jack's personal guards. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you... Uh, Past profession 11. Uh, yeah, everyone would kind of hear uh, ch chittering amongst the um, amongst the folk there, the uh, like the uh, maids and the and the butlers. How something going on with Jack? Does anyone? Does anyone, if anyone wishes to listen a little bit closer, they roll a perception check. Oh wow! We're good. Perception. Perception. I like to listen. Hey, uh, 11, oh, I guess I'm the 15. Uh, I like to listen. I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. Wow. It okay. didn't even roll. It just fucking threw it in the corner. It fucked. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, boy. Cyrus and Fyodor, you can't quite catch anything more than just their whispering about Jack. Zess and Leopold, you heard that Z Jack came out and and essentially saying what they discovered in the basement was kind of crazy, and he needs uh, to help Charles handle it. 
So he's going out and get and uh, helping out. He'll be back eventually, but Charles will keep everyone in good condition until he, he returns. Oh man, they got to work quick. I say to myself out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but you would head out. Is there anything you would like to do? Is there anything in this manner that we need for anybody? No, not at the moment. Oh, well, if that's done, I'll say we uh, just head on back to the tower then. Okay. You would head back to the tower. Is everybody else is cool with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. To the tower? I don't see anything. All right. All right. Uh, you, I assume you informed the crack of your success. Oh, yeah, walk in and go, uh, the crack. You here, buddy? Yeah. Uh, as you enter, he, he, once again, you'll be brought directly to his study. Oh, oh, hey. Just wanted to inform you the thing with uh Charles was a grand success. By the way, do you still have your prisoner? I thought you know. Yeah. I thought we let him go, like, in the... When? Like, well, I didn't really say it. I just, <laughs> you just I thought assumed. it? <laughs> no, no, yeah, I just I... assumed once we got, like, back topside, I let him on his way, but... just I'm just making sure, I, because I te technically you, could ha you, you technically control him at the moment. He's not going to try and escape. Especially, yeah, what, especially what's going He's on in slave. the basement. You know what? I'm just going to bring him in. <laughs> All yeah, right. I just got to assume we had him the whole time. Yeah, no, no. I'm just going to bring him in. Okay. Now I'm telling you that the that <laughs> what happened, this guy survived. He's he's in on it. <laughs> I'm like, if you need another caretaker, because yours, he dipped out. Remember, this guy, he can, it's every good. That's quite all right. But as long as he is trustworthy, and he would look at him, and you are trustworthy, yes. The man quickly nods. It shouldn't be a problem. It's good that uh, the Espada family is back on track. Yeah, I figured uh, we get a day of rest in. Yeah, gentlemen, then uh, we'll go find no druid. Probably, yeah. Well, that would be very helpful, but you may wish to inform the Serrano family of what has been. Oh, happening. right, right, right. We, we'll totally do that. He is so right. And you, he would point to Leopold, you have some armor being commissioned. In fact, it's being sent here for my enchantment uh, tomorrow. It's going to take a few more days before it's complete. But if you wish to head out early, it'll be here when you. It'll be here for you when you get back. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So um, you want to wait until your armor's done, Leo? Mm -hmm. If yeah. Come, yeah, it'd be, yeah, we'll wait then. We'll wait around because that's done. Oh, no, you can go. Well, no, we can't leave you here. That's just rude. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. No, I mean, we're going to wait for the armor to be done. Then we'll go get the druid. That's what I meant. Oh, I thought you meant to, like, the Serranos. Oh, no, I was going to go do that one. Anybody who wants to come, can come, though. Uh, I'll go with you. <laughs> But yeah, uh, we'll talk to you later, Crack. Then me, throw the door, gonna go ahead out. Anybody else coming? You want my salute out? <laughs> okay. Who's all going to the Serrano family? Hold on. I want the uh, ring. The ring? Yeah, I like uh, Charles has it. Does he? Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah I gave it to him a long time ago. <laughs> I, I'll send to get yeah. it back. But never mind. Yeah, no, no, why would he no. give me that back? Yeah, no, well, like, you know, dead inside <laughs> thing. Remember so yeah, yeah like, me, me, me and Fredo are gonna go to the Serranos. <laughs> that you know, the the big place, underground place. So we talk to hit the head guy there. How do you how how do you explain it to him? He did in my natural. <laughs> Way I tell him everything, <laughs> dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> the demons, the, the imps, the 
the death, the prank, the t- the mimic sword who ate him. <laughs> I tell him all that shit. <laughs> all right, roll um, roll persuasion <laughs> with advantage. I can't be there as that. I'll just show the evidence. <laughs> the mimic sword. It's like the frog from Looney Tunes. <laughs> it only talks to us. And then when everybody else tries to see it, it's oh just come on, give me something better. Yeah. That worked. <laughs> um, Julio just yeah. stares at you as you just unload everything before he just collapsed back into his chair. It's done. So I didn't see yeah. that. He just stares off into the distance before tears begin running down his face and into his beard. Oh. It's, done. it's finally done. Yeah, Happy okay. you got some closure out of this. <laughs> Please. He would look to you. Tears still f- freely flowing down his face. I need to be alone now. That's fine. Oh, uh, Leo wanted to paint it. One of your per- uh, he would he would wave. Tell them to come back another day. I will we'll do. Answer. We'll do. Come on, he Fredo. Would. He he needs to be, he needs some alone time. Uh, let's go. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know what you told them, but you're there. Oh, as, uh, as you're leaving, um, as you're leaving, uh. Frank burps and a uh, necklace pops out of his mouth and falls to the floor. It would be the same necklace that uh, that his uh, the one in the uh, one in his painting was wearing. Do we notice that, or we just walk out and it happens? Um, I would say you notice it, Frank. You, right. you say excuse me when you say the ooh, what's this? And I pick it up. Oh, that's real pretty. I guess you didn't eat everything. Yeah, right? <laughs> I look over at the guy and I'm like souvenir. Now I, I hold it up for him to Julio. Yeah, he would look at it before taking it into his hands and begins to weep openly now. Oh, like oh, like oh. deeply sobbing. No, no, we should we should go. We should never see a man cry at Fred or his room. You you have a good day. Now usher him out and close the door. <laughs> sure. Uh, the guards of the Serrano family would escort ex- escort you out to the main road. All right. You know, Fredo, I feel I feel good. I feel real good. We did a good thing. Yeah, we did a real good thing. <laughs> mm. What well, is there anything else you like to do today? Bahamut bless this land. We will get these people back on track. Um. See what else can we do? I don't know anyone else. You want to go for a drink, buddy? Let's go get okay. and grab a drink. I think I want one. We'll go to the Serrano bar. Okay, you guys can tie one on. I'm gonna uh, have Leo- one. I don't want to Leo- overindulge. Fair enough, Leopold <laughs> and Cyrus. Since you guys stayed at the tower, is there anything you would like to do during this time? Uh. Study. Got it. Roll me. Uh, study, roll study, me in our con- uh, two arcana checks, please. Gotcha. A one. A two. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. Uh, as you study with the crack, you seem to be you, the uh, practice you put in the previous day, and the practice you put in today. Um, you you have an epiphany and now have access to two spells, one cantrip and one uh, first level wizard spell. I just need to know which ones those are. So just let me know when you get a chance. Okay. Yay. Cyrus, <laughs> what are you doing? Chakra. <laughs> uh, where, well, like his library or some shit, right? Yeah, there's a library. Ask him if he has any books to make uh, my gun better. And which one? The one I just built. Oh. Because apparently uh, one of my revolvers makes yeah. everyone frown, and my other one is just like unholy or holy light. 
The crack would frown. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Firearms are not exactly my forte, and I find them quite noisy and smelly. However, uh, let's do a intelligence check. There is a gunsmith in Fire Rockets to the south of Calci on about a week and a half's journey. You say Fire Rock? Yes, Fire Rock. Uh, it is under control of the Baron Walsh. I mm. hear that he has been making strides to craft such weapons, so you may be able to find something there. Ooh. Is that in the direction we have to go for the druid? No, that's tech, that's actually in the opposite direction. Oh, okay. If you look at the map, 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 map. Oh, don't have that map. Give me a second. Yeah, we didn't buy. We didn't buy any more maps. Uh, it is. It, it would be on the map that you have. Oh. Standard map, awesome. Yeah, it is. Let me just find it real quick. Uh, because I sent a map of. Uh, hold on a second. Where is it? Where is it? Excuse me. One stuff. D and D stuff. Uh, one moment, one moment, please. Okay, uh, there. This map. Oh, that, yeah, oh. um, this map. If you, uh, Calcium is. The uh, one is the is the four uh, it's the four one directly to the north, the, the northeast. Fire Rock is pretty far south, down towards the, the the middle of the map. All right. So it, it you would pass through it as you're leaving the province, but it's kind of far away. Okay, but. Um, I need to. I we need to wrap up. Unfortunately, it's that time again. Yeah. And I should start handing out experience. No. Oh, yeah, For the yeah, combat yeah. of defeating Espada and his guards, everyone gains three hundred and fifty ex exp. About three fifty. Okay. Yeah. Three fifty. We did it, guys. We For. Overthrowing the Espada family and in, and implanting a Rakshasa and his devil underlings, everyone gains, and everyone gains another four hundred fifty exp. So eight hundred altogether. And for delivering Cassandra's necklace and telling uh, and bringing closure to Julio Serrano, everyone gains another two hundred and fifty. So all together, one thousand fifty. We did good, fellas. And we're level four. Yep, everyone's level a level up. Level four. Level four. Everyone can take their level four uh, stuff now. Everyone should go through their character sheet, make sure they know everything that they get in level four. Cyrus. Hey, why are you bring up old shit? <laughs> What do you go for? Oh, ability score increase. Uh, you can also get an ability score increase or a feat if you want it. What does it tell oh. you? Uh, what do you get? Uh, when you level up, it, there should be a little thing at the corner. Uh, like go to the builder and it says, "Hey, you're a level. You're you have enough experience for level four. Do you want to take another point to cleric?" And then you could do all this stuff there. Oh, wait, bro. Sorry. I heard you, but I was reading something. Oh, ability choice. Okay. But yeah, you guys can pump up your ability scores a little bit more, making people stronger, wiser, smarter. 
How do I do that again? Sorry. I, I heard you kind of about... Okay. Uh, click the little anvil in the corner, right-hand corner. It says builder. Yeah. Oh, so I could choose a feat instead. You, if you wanted to choose a feat instead, you could. Can I just add my next feat then? Do we get to. another feat yeah. at five then? You do get another feat at five. Huh. So if you want to just double up on the feats, like get feet this level and next level, you can. Or you can make yourself a little bit stronger, a little bit more durable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think I want to double up on my feats. All right. <laughs> so can I add that next one that I brought up? Yes. Let me just figure so out. What was the name of it? Yeah, oh? that's what I'm trying to remember, too. Uh, like the dragon hide or scale or whatever. No, the double yeah. my HP. Yeah, tough. Oh, tough. There we go. That's the tough boy, baby. Did I create tough? Crap. Well, it uh, says it's here. You gain two extra HP for each level. Oh, yeah, then go ahead and add it. And then how do I push accept? <laughs> uh, you, it should just say choose feet, choose the uh, thing, and it, it, just, it should just lock in. I should have access to second level spells now, at least. And I get one of hand trip. Uh, yep, you got feet. Tough. You currently have 35 max hit points. Yes! And I think with that, I think... Uh, no. Up next, dragon hide. Yeah, no. <laughs> your door is now 45. Oh, shit. I will no longer die in three hits, guys. <laughs> it's now four. Yep. Uh, Leopold, you have 39 hit points. Yep. And Zest, you have... 40. 40. <laughs> Cyrus, you still have the least amount of hit points out of all of them. I don't care. I was at 21. For some yeah. reason, mine's not like leveling up like. Well, uh. A. Uh... Wait, it should have doubled. I should be like at 42. Yeah, hold on a second. Because you should have two. Tough should give you two hit points every level. So. Yeah, but I think it's every level after, after this no, no. initial a one, ain't it? Uh, before, so you should have eight hit points. You were at twenty-one, you said previously. Uh, yeah, previously I was at twenty-one, but now so it says I'm thirty-five. Take, that makes sense. I mean, because eight from uh, tough, as well as the uh, plus one from constitution. That's uh, nine plus uh, whatever half of whatever your uh, thing is, which I think is a D eight or something. So yeah, that, that's right. Because you would gain you gain fourteen hit points, so yeah, that that, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, I hope everyone had fun. Yeah. I did. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I am going to kick out Boots and Ginger, and I gotta go to work. All right. It was a good time. It was a good time. And now I gotta figure out what you guys are doing for next session. But for now. Goodbye. Bye.